I am so glad that you could be here today for our first painting video of 2024. My name is Rich, the channel is a cavalcade of nonsense the likes of which mankind has never seen. It's also called New Memphis. And to start off this year, we're gonna get a bit experimental. I've had this paint job in mind for the cruel boys that we're starting, but just to ease ourselves into it and to work out some of the wrinkles in this paint scheme and basing scheme as well, I thought it would be good to start out with this group of gabos that I had, plus one little stab grot. So we do have an official cruel boys model that we can see what the paint job looks like on. I'm going to eventually make an entire video talking about the cruel boys and all the issues with them and why I think they never really caught on the way that 40k orcs did. Spoiler alert, they're bad and over-designed and the weapons are too small. But for right now, all you need to know is that we're going to be focusing on trying to, in, in a sense, strip away detail and try to keep our colors to as few as possible, which still ends up being like 15, 16. How many did it end up being? All right, they're gonna be on screen here. You can just, you can just look. I don't, I don't know why I forgot that I just do that. But yeah, all these colors. Wow, look at them. Those are colors. So come along, friends, as we get tropical in testing out this new paint scheme. There's actually a polar vortex happening in the state of Illinois right now, and across most of the United States. Thought about going with Kona, but eventually I went back to the Line and Kugel's Berry Weiss because it was on sale. And also it's delicious, I'm not gonna complain about that. So look at that color. Like, yeah, this beer is like 90% artificial flavor, but my God, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Let's get started. Okay, I've had this scheme in mind for a while, and these gabos will be perfect to test it out on. We're going to start off this batch with some of our leafy green primer, the same stuff I use to do our 100% plant-based Necrons. To get the scheme just right, first I tested out quite a few paints on some of these old Warhammer fantasy bases I had lying around, though I guess now I could have saved them for the old world. We'll start off the basing texture by grabbing some cheap dollar store paint and just globbing it on. The goal is to eventually have this look like a sort of sandy, swampy beach, which I think will match the Cruel Boys quite nicely and allow for some fun contrast. Here they are after being primed, and we'll follow that up with some cork brown on the ropes and straps. We're going to be using this paint a lot. Next up is an initial layer of deep yellow for the skin. It uh, had a lot of trouble covering the green, as I would expect from a yellow, but fortunately, Cruel Boys don't show that much skin, and we will be adding on more layers later. Next, we can start the blades, which I want to look like, kind of like chipped stone, and contrast with this very blue and green heavy paint scheme. So we'll try using Flat Flesh, which has a distinct tint of orange. Okay, that uh, wasn't quite orange enough, so let's return to the true protagonist of this channel, Vallejo Clear Orange, and put a thin layer of that down over top. Next, we'll dry brush them in white, and assuming we don't have to fix any mistakes, these blades are actually done. Okay, I should confess, I messed this next part up horribly. Normally when I do washes, I start out with our wash mix, which is basically just matte medium and water, and I take that mix and then add the paint to it. In this case, I tried just taking the paint and thinning it with water until it worked for a wash, and it ended up looking very chalky. So, word to the wise, don't make my mistake. Uh, use an actual wash mix, use matte medium, and get it just right. Don't try to just cut a Vallejo paint with water to make a wash, but, it's also no reason to stop the project, so we're going to continue on anyway, so let's get into this wash of royal blue all over the gabos. Thank you. 
After that, let's move on to highlighting the ropes and straps with cork brown again. and we'll be painting it all over the bases. Then we can highlight the skin. Around this step, I also mixed a proper wash of royal blue to fix some mistakes off camera. Okay, this is where things kind of went off the rails. So I started doing highlights of light green, but it was God, it was just way too bright and ugly, and after doing just three models, I wasn't happy with it, and I even considered just quitting and throwing these models out. But that's never what we do here on New Memphis. We stick with our projects, and we absolutely see them through to the end. So let's try something else, get out of our comfort zone, and try a new paint for another couple of models. I decided to do another three in Vallejo Blue Green, which is one of my favorite paints, and I think it turned out pretty well. And after that, I decided to do the next three in flat green, which I did not expect to go well, and then absolutely did go well. Right after starting with this paint, I realized it was just perfect, exactly the blend I was looking for. So much so, I even used it on the original three to cover up some of the blue wash that was just clashing with the light green. I think it made for a fun sort of camo effect. The next two steps were some highlights of white and a black wash for the eyes and mouths. Then on the bases, we'll give them a proper wash of Vallejo Emerald. I dry brushed on some more cork brown, but they still weren't quite vibrant enough. So I broke out those test bases again and tried out a few different colors of dry brushing. And the best one, to my surprise, was flat flesh. So we'll dry brush it on every single model. Pay reverence to the OG Short Kings by subscribing, or don't, that's what the spears are for. Thank you so much for being here, I think that's enough preamble, and let's get on to the good part. Okay, let's discuss two things I like and one thing I want to do better next time. Well, the first thing that springs to mind is that damn wash. God, it just looks so chalky and I hate it. I was supposed to be doing the good thing first.
Damn it. The white highlights on the standard look pretty great. I do love how they turned out. Leaving those tips dark actually worked better than I thought for making them look very, very pointy. And the teeth as well. Some, some of the teeth were a bit mixed, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, that was the whole point of starting out with gabos. I'm not exactly <laughs> expecting them to be super professional. It's fine. Uh, the highlights on the Stabgrot's shield also turned out really, really well, which bodes well for the future. One of the biggest problems with the Cruel Boys is how hideously over-designed they are. So those few touches of white being able to bring across one of their best details, which are the shields, is perfect. It really makes me confident in going into the more complex models. Next thing, I... <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of torn between either the flat green or the blue green because I think they both turned out really, really well. The blue green maybe clashes a bit more, but I still like the blue green more because it's just vibrant and fun and it kind of makes these guys with their yellow skin look like Simpsons characters and I love that. As for the thing to do better, I've already mentioned it. It's the wash. I'm not going to spend another couple of minutes beating myself up. And with that in mind, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I am excited going to 2024. It's going to be a good year, and uh, I'm excited going to the next set of projects. Uh, I might have a surprise for you guys next week, depending on what happens. And I will see you in the next video.